So, what's inside a Pokeball? Well, Pokemon cards, of course. It, it says so right on the tin. Yeah, this is a Pokemon TCG Pokeball Collector's Tin. I thought it was really cool. So, for once, we're actually doing something Pokemon TCG related. That's not related to one of the TCG video games or related to the Detective Pikachu film. So today on Master Trainer, the channel, and helping you become a Pokemon Master, we're gonna be unboxing this Pokeball filled with Pokemon uh, card stuff. So yeah. So let's take my book of Detective Pikachu Pokemon cards and just toss them to the side. And here's our Pokeball. Now, this isn't the first promotional kind of Pokemon card, Pokeball thing that's been done. Uh, there was this one that was done background. I think this was around the movie 2000. If we actually press, it has a button on the front that opens it up. It has a stand. And it has one of these little gold cards uh, in there. My friend Jenny actually gave this to me in a trade a while back. This is awesome. I really love this. But uh, this, one, this one doesn't feel nearly as hefty, and obviously the button here is just for show, but I'm still kind of interested to see what's inside. I mean, for, what, 12 bucks? Yeah, this, this isn't bad. This isn't bad at all. I have no complaints as far as build quality goes, uh, though I guess I would like to see a button that worked like an older one, but now I'm just nitpicking, aren't I? Come on, Pokeball. There you go. So here it is, there's really nothing really on here. Uh, made in China, very nice, I guess. And then, uh, yeah, instead of having like a hinge release like on this one, it's just uh, two separate halves, but that's fine. First off we have, oh cool, is that a Solgaleo coin? Look, look at that. Solgaleo, Galileo, Figaro. So now we actually have three cards, uh, card packs as well. We have one uh, X and Y Steam Siege, which I think is out of rotation now. We have Sun, Moon, Guardians Rising, and one just base Sun, Moon. I think these are a bit older, but that's fine. I mean, I don't really play the TCG game because uh, my friends who played it stopped, but I do love collecting actual card art. So first things first here, it's an actual little QR code for y'all to scan in. Let me just focus that. All right, so what do we have first up here? We have Fighting Energy. We have How. We have a uh, Pinsir. I like Pinsir. Pinsir is a good bug boy. We have a uh, Rare Candy. Is that Rare Candy? That is Rare Candy. I'm having to look through the viewfinder to see these. We have a uh, Morlo, Morlo. We have a uh, Lantern, Chinchow, Chinchow. We have Cutie Fly, Dratini. Uh, what was that? Spiro. Another rare candy, but ooh, look at that! Look at look at that shiny rare candy boy. And finally, we our rare is Masquerade. So, eh, not a ton of great pulls from there. I don't know if that rare candy is worth much of anything, but that's fine. I like it. It's a nice, shiny rare candy boy. Look at that. That's a thumbnail shot right there. All right, so next up, let's open up uh, the Guardians Rising pack. Let's refocus that. Remember, kids, if you're doing Pokemon cards unboxings, please use manual focus. It's just a lot easier on you. I say this like I don't work in film, but hey, this is my channel. I'm just here to have a good time and talk about Pokemon cards. So first things first, we have this boy right here. Another code for y'all. Have fun. And then one, two, three, four. All right, so we have electric energy. We have... Uh, what's that boy again? Whimsicott! We have uh, Aether Paradise Conservation Area. We have Alolan Graveler. Ooh, I love that design. We have Jang Moo. We have Wimpod. We have Gumi. We have Wishy Washy in the singular form. Vanilla Light, tasty boy. A nice sparkly matchup boy. 
And Probo Pass. So that's a good Probo Pass, but yeah. So fine, let's open up the oldest one of these packs, an X and Y Steam Siege pack. So let's go ahead, let's just open that. Ooh, wow, that. Okay. <laughs> so, first things first, as always, enjoy your code. And one, two, three, four. All right, I did that wrong because we got Volcanion. Okay, that's actually pretty good though, but I, I really like that Volcanion. We have Zwellius, which is neat. Driftblim. Gardevoir, Spirit Link. Mankey. Yamna. Yeah, Yamna. Yeah. Apom. Uh, Larvesta. Drifloon. And, oh, look at that shiny primate boy. Look at that. Look at that. That's, that's not bad. That's not, like, I, I don't care if it's how rare this boy. That's just a really cool looking card. I like that. I like that a lot. So that was fun. What I say that the Pokemon TCG Pokeball 10 on, uh, was worth buying, you know, even if we didn't get the best pulls in the world. Well, I mean, at the price, you're getting three packs, a coin, and a really cool tin. Uh, I think it's cool. Danny thinks it's cool. Danny thinks it's really cool. So, uh, that's what I think. Not for everyone, but definitely really fun. The cards are definitely older. Uh, and I don't know if that's still just a regular thing or if, you know, the shops near me are getting rid of new old stock. But, hey, this was fun. This was a lot of fun. I don't know if I'm going to keep doing TCG unboxings. As I said, this was just a weird, unique thing that I really thought was worth showing off since I hadn't seen it before. Uh, if there's any interest, you know, feel free to send cards or whatever or, uh, trade. As I'm very casually into the TCG or whatever, so. Comment down below, you know, what's... You know, what's your favorite thing about Pokemon cards? Let me know. What's your favorite thing about Pokemon in general? What's your favorite Pokemon card and why is it Imakuni from the Pokemon TCG Game Boy game? Thank you all very much for watching. Remember to watch one of our other unboxings, such as uh, one that, say, the Detective T... The... I'm tongue-tied. Why not watch one of our other unboxings, such as the Detective Pikachu uh, Lunchbox tin that we did a while back? That was a ton of fun. So, with that, thank you very much for watching, stay classy, subscribe to Master Trainer for more great content like this, and I'll see you next time.